Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring, and we are now at the site of grace within the Alritza Hero's Grave. Obviously we left the previous episode coming down the lift. I feel like you guys don't need me to help you walk this small distance. This area is quite lethal, so I recommend going in with as few runes as possible. So with that being said, because I'm carrying 117,000 and it's costing me 90k to level, I'm going to burn some runage here. I do want to hit, what, like 190k before we go in? Let's try half of these. It's close, close. I'll take another half of them. <clears throat> That's kind of my favourite use for these, it's just, you know, to round us off when we need... We need to get through some of this. Um, it's likely we'll die here. Um, <laughs> I would apologise, but I really don't think it's going to be surprising to anybody that comes through. But we should be okay. I have an idea where we need to go to. I can't remember all of it exactly. Um, but hopefully I'll... Whoa, we'll be okay when we get reminded when we go in there. Here comes my first death already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so all jokes aside then. Um, this place is... Yeah, not pleasant. If it's the one I remember anyway. This is the one where we have... There are two chariots in here. Um, and we're going to actually get them to drive into each other. However, it's going to take some effort. Where is... Yeah, we want to drop off down there. I'm just going to teleport in on us right here, look. This first one is. We're going to get in this little gap here. Excuse me, sirs. Oh my god. Can you please take a break? Oh god. Okay, then let's let's screw the right side. Let's go left side instead. Maybe this will be better. This is why we don't carry runes in here because it's just too easy to die. Um, we need to go up before we can go. I probably should. I probably could have gone the first time around to be honest, but we missed that opportunity. Now. So we're gonna go down here. As you can see, we got another one that's gonna come straight down from the other side. So we have to be careful of that. Let that drive off. Got the loot, which is kind of showing you we can do some dropping off here. I suppose maybe that's its intention. No, not bothered about these. Not bothered about that one either. Not bothered about that either. Where's the turning? There it is. Not bothered about you either. It should be about now. So the chariot's going to be uh, quite close to us in a minute. Be careful about how uh, far out you stick your head. Sometimes it can catch you over the top of the stairway. Look, you can see. Kind of how it rolls over. So let me see if I can just show you guys before we start the run here. You can see that there's those um, pillars just down there. The other chariot is actually going to try and come down from the other side again. However, um, there's a drop-off down there that we want to be taking. We need to come over to the left really quickly. See if we can get in here, see if we can get in here. That'll do nicely. There we go. So one of them is going to teleport to the top, as you can see. So we've got to be, like, real careful here. And the place that we want to go to is, again, being shown to us by the rune here. I need to not take too much time dropping down. Otherwise, it's just not going to go well. But this is where we need to go. So now we make our way down here. Now, this first bit's not too bad, but the bit behind us, there is a skeleton that'll throw firebombs. So we just need to be careful when we're coming across that way in a minute. Or now, though. Nice and carefully does it. Place is a horrific nightmare. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Moonveil spam even more now because somebody complained about it. So it makes me happy <laughs> to annoy people that think it's up to them to dictate how someone else plays. Play how you like. That's what I say. 
What I do it does not affect you. What you do does not affect me. Right, so. I really don't like it when they come out of the ground. No signs. Now I'm hoping I'm in the right place where I think I am. We're looking for um, a pillar that moves. I think I'm in. The, I think I've gone the right way. I hope I've gone the right way. We'll know because we'll be on a hill. Mm, no, this isn't where I want to go. Okay. So we need to go the other way. We'll be back here in a bit. We'll be back here. Scrap that. That is the wrong way. We want to go across the beams. This is where Loretta's longbow is going to basically be essential. Great bow, not longbow. Make the distinction. So we want to get down here. And then we want to like get kind of close, but not so close to the aggros. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I should have ran in. When I was here last, it took two shots, but we're going to do that so we don't get hit by. So we don't get hit by any fire bombs. We're going to come up this way. Sorry about taking you the other way. That was the wrong way. I'm sure somebody's going to be infuriated that, you know, went up the wrong ladder. I do apologise. I know it's not perfect. So it is going to be. Pretty sure we have to go up. Yeah, I think it's going to be through there. So let it go down, and then we're going to go up this way. And there should be a pillar through here. And we want to hit it once. This is going to make the fire go out that way. So I guess we could run that way if we wish, but I think we can still... No, no, we can't fast travel in here. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can survive this, but we have basically made the dungeon way easier now. And you'll see why. Can't actually even get back to the ladder here, can we? Do the drop off. I'm kind of tempted to just die now. <laughs> let's, let's see if we can survive it. Basically, now that we've done that, uh, it's going to mess with one of the spawns of the chariots and they'll crash into each other. I'm going to die, look. Yeah, we're gone. I don't even know if I could have made it down to there. But, don't worry. That is good. That is kind of what we wanted. Uh, so yeah, down this way. Went down here to the left. Run straight down this way. Straight past all the basilisks of doom. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Now what should happen is chariots are going to blow themselves up. We're going to get an answer. Boom. And now <laughs> we can actually get around. I can't believe I didn't go collect that while I was up there. <laughs> Damn it. Why didn't I collect that while I was up there? Hmm. Fool. 
So as you can see, we can kind of run around now, which is real nice. <laughs> if this is where you're just going to leave the video, by the way, please leave me a like and a comment down below saying it was helpful. But obviously, at this point, then you can pretty much just explore at your own leisure, which is real nice. I'm aware. We want to come off this way now. Um, we're going to grab the top stuff from the top bit. We want the glove wart, and then we'll do the other area where we died going down. Hello, Basilisk of Doom. Hello, another Basilisk of Doom. Stop it. Stop it. Such heavy sneezes. <laughs> oh, there we go. oh no, I was wrong. It wasn't that one. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's going to be quicker to go down this way. Let's do that. Or is it? I don't know if it is, actually. Oh, back on the drop off it is. Back to where the skelly bob was. Back to where Mr. Skeleton was. The good thing is, we don't need to go all the way back over to where the basilisks were. Little of a little bit of a misremembrance. I know I made a bit bit of a big uh, mental note on how to get rid of the, uh, the chariots. So they're obviously the biggest problem here. Push it. Get a pretty good prize for getting rid of them. Let's have a sip. Head on up now. And you can obviously move these kind of power if you want now, because um, obviously the chariots are gone now. If you want to go through there, but we already looted that area. So I don't feel like there's much reason to move it again. Hello, skeletons. Excuse me. No, no, no. I don't know why you wouldn't come up here. Strange, strange thing. I can't remember what this is now. Crucible Feather Talisman. There should be an ash in here. Vulgar milit Militia Ashes. Did we get that? I don't know if we got that. I'll make sure we get it before we leave. Up the left. Did we get it? Did we get it? Can't remember if we did. It'll be the little looking hooded guys, won't it? I guess we didn't get that yet. I can't remember what you move. Um, you have to be careful with this because... Um, this one makes it harder to get back to here, because the flame's going to blow that way. Does it do both ways? No. At this point you really don't want to die. 
that's the dragonfly head and the glove foot that we did that we saw before. We haven't had the switch yet though. <laughs> I remembered all the hard bits and then forgot the easy simple bits that we definitely needed. Trust me. Do something so crazy. That way we need. Not that way we need. Or is there a, is there a ladder? I think that'd be a ladder. Let's go over this way. If not, I can always cut, recheck everything, and then uh, we can do the last little bit. I think there might be a ladder. No, no ladder. Okay, bear with me for, an, for a minute while I just kind of re-get my bearings as to what we need to do. One moment. Well, the joke's on me. I was thinking about it too much. Apparently, this boss door doesn't have a lever. Many apologies for messing around there. Um, yeah, you just walk up to it and the uh, press open. And the doors will open. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, cool. I can't believe I didn't remember that. But there we are. Uh, so now we can down to the boss. The boss is going to be two Crucible Knights. So this is quite a mean one, if I'm honest. Uh, at this stage of the game, anyway, where you won't have faced loads of them like that together. Oh, hey ho! My pain, your pleasure. That's good. Kind of glad that I've uh, reconfirmed the area, though. It means, you know, when I come through here in the future, I'll definitely know exactly where everything is, which is awesome. You guys have collected everything, which is nice, and we can deal with some bossage. We want to get out of here quickly. We don't want to be taking hits while I'm at like half health from these guys because it's going to hurt. Ideally, I want to get a chance to drop some of that in. Can't believe the beam goes straight through the pillar. Like that's completely unnecessary. Ouch. These are parryable. I'm just not very brave at it. By the way. Oh my god. Although I don't think they're black backstabbable, so it's not really a thing we can do. Can you just give me a second, please? Really? I don't mean to do that. <laughs> the mimic's absolutely killing this one. Let's see if we can't capitalize on that bit. Ouch. Oh my god. Just nothing I can do. Oh, it's a lot like a grab. Can you please not, sir? Oh my gosh. Stop it. Good job, Mimic. <laughs> this would be a crapshoot without you. Come on, just get frostbite on you now. You're dead. Oh my gosh. There we go. Victory. It's not very elegant, but uh, we'll get there. I think we've increased the range of that. I feel like that's hitting from much further than I remember it hitting from. That is the end of the dungeon. It took a little bit longer than I'd liked. A little bit of a mess around. I'm sure some people won't like how long it took. But it's done. We've got everything. And I'm happy with that, which is all good. Next up then, in the walkthrough, we will be... Uh, well, I'll be double-checking what NPC interactions we can have before we head into Landel. We'll probably be moving Corrin and Goldmask along. And then we will be... I've already moved in once. No. No, we haven't. Uh, and then we'll be heading into Langdon Capital, which is quite cool. Hopefully this uh, is helpful for you guys, and I will see you all in the next video.